as I am today talking about only on the left, I would say that to feel miserable for nothing at all is also wrong, is being unjust to yourself. The people who are left-sided must know that they are the spirit, that they are that beauty which has to come, which has to express itself, that they are not the people who have to suffer all the time and to live like miserable people. They are not. But because they take so much upon themselves, bear so much upon themselves, they become like that. And to avoid that bearing up, they may take to some other habits. You see, many people take to alcohol also for reason because they can't bear the pangs of life. They can't bear. That's why they take to. But once the spirit is awakened within you, you become so strong. You become so joyous, so spontaneous that all these things drop on. All those things, so-called diseases, so-called habits, just drop on. And you become a new, blooming personality. Now, the basics of having this center within you, we can blame God for that. Why did He give us these centers on the left-hand side? What was the need? He should not have given us this left-sided one, so we would have been just in the center to go. But the trouble is, the human beings have to know in their own freedom how to deal with themselves. They have to learn a little hard way, the wisdom. They have to know by going to extremes, we have suffered. They have to realize it, because if they have to become truly, absolutely free, they have to rise in their wisdom. If they are not wise people, then they cannot enter into the kingdom of God because they will be abandoned people. Say, people who are abandoned, who don't understand any laws and regulations, if you get them in England, we have to put them in jail. In the same way, human beings who have not got that wisdom within themselves, through sufferings only one learns, but we should not ask for suffering. When we ask for sufferings, we are asking actually for mistakes to begin with. How will you suffer if you do not commit mistakes? So when we ask for sufferings, we are committing mistakes. So what we should ask for is nothing but our spirit. And if you ask for your spirit, it is your own and you have to get it. It is in your own right that you are going to get it. It's no way that I'm obliging you or doing something special for you. It's all there. You are like a light which is just to be enlightened because I am an enlightened light. And you become an enlightened light and you can enlighten other lights also. It's very simple. If you become an enlightened light, you can enlighten others. You don't have to bother about anything else then. You become an enlightened light yourself. That's the point. It is all there, it is all your own, you have to just have it. It is as simple as that. There is nothing very complicated as these people make it or anything that these philosophers have put before you, nothing of the kind. It's very simple. It is within you, it is spontaneous, it is a living process. As in living process you have become human beings, you are going to become superhuman beings. It's absolutely spontaneous. You can't pay for it. How can you pay? I mean, an absurdity. If it is a living process, how can you pay? How much do you pay to the tree to get, grow up? I mean, in anything living, do we pay anything? How much do we pay our nose to breathe? Can we pay for it? It's absurd. It's ridiculous. The way we pay for it, we cannot. It's a living process. You have to pick up, an egg has to become a chick. Now how much do you pay to an egg to become a chick? Or how much does an egg pay to the mother for becoming uh, a chicken? It's that ridiculous. But we never understand that living things are so spontaneous. We, we never see living things. We live with matter, we, with the dead, not with the living things. If you start watching a tree, you start watching a flower, how it becomes a fruit? You can't even watch because it's done so slowly. You can't even watch a flower becoming a fruit. Suddenly you find all coming up. Like when I came uh, to London from India, I found 
All the trees were bare. Absolutely like dry sticks. Absolutely like dry sticks. Within a week, what I find is the green coming. And within the second week, it was all lush. Can't believe it. We never even notice. We take it for granted. It's happening. How does it happen? It's a miraculous thing. If you see it is miraculous, how these flowers, for example, the particular flowers are only on a particular tree, another's, another are on another tree. How does it happen? Who chooses them? Who puts them in proper shape? Who organizes all that? And this is what one has to realize. And that is the all-pervading power of God that does all the living work. And once you become that, the spirit, then this power starts flowing. You feel the power through you as Christ was touched and he said some power has gone to someone. Like that. You just become a medium of that power flowing. But you are empowered to maneuver it, to manage it, to understand it. You know completely about it. You know how to give it. You know how to work it out. You know how to cure others, cure yourself. You know the complete working of your machinery. Apart from that, you get the powers to overcome all the problems of your own machinery also. It's so fantastic. The whole thing sounds very fantastic because we have never seen this before. But to us it doesn't sound fantastic when we see all these four flowers suddenly turning into fruits. It doesn't sound. But we see human beings turning into fruits. Then it sounds very fantastic. How can that be? It has never happened. Before only one person would get realization and it was such a difficult thing and nobody got it. How is it today? I say it is the blossom time which is being promised, which is being already prophesied. Even a great poet in your country, William Blake, has prophesied. He said these times will come when men of God will become prophets. And these prophets will have power to make other prophets. I mean, nobody could be more precise than Blake, I tell you. He was so great to say this will happen. And this is what we have to expect when we go to anybody for seeking. Have you become prophets? And what is a prophet? Prophet is a person who is a collective being and who knows all about it. Who is the master? We call prophet a master. And that's what you have to become the master. And that mastery is very simple because it's all built within you. Just it has to be connected. Like uh, anything like a television set is to be connected to the mains. It's all built in, it's there. It just starts working. In the same way, you are that. You are that. Just it is to be connected. Whatever may be your caste, community, race, nationality, shapes, heights, anything, whatever it may be, makes no difference because all of you have got this great thing within you, this power of a rebirth. And you are to be born again and you will be born again. Why not today? 